Thailand Outlook. สวัสดีครับ and welcome back to another episode of Thailand Outlook, the News Digest program, broadcasting from Radio Thailand FM 88 and also online at PRD. prd.go.th. I'm Kachang with Tajit. Our show today will be focusing on uh, Thailand's dynamic landscape of tourism, sustainability, and the fight against corruption. Join us as we delve into the latest developments that are shaping Thailand's future. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Starting off our show with. Thailand's tourism ministry is now gearing up for a major boost. The government, under the Ignite Thailand vision, is prioritizing the upskilling of tourism workers. The initiative, led by the Ministry of Tourism and Sports, aims to uh, really enhance service excellence and equip workers with the skills needed to uh, meet international standards. And this shows Thailand's commitment to providing top-notch. Um, experiences for tourists and maintaining its position as a global tourism hub. Now, the focus on upskilling is incredibly important. The tourism sector is a major contributor to, to Thailand's economy, and uh, by investing in its workforce, the government is not only improving quality of service but also creating opportunities for career advancement and economic growth. Now let's shift gears and talk about sustainability in the tourism and hospitality industry. Now sustainability is taking center stage in uh, Thailand's tourism industry, as highlighted by the recent Innovation Tourism and Hospitality for Sustainability seminar. Switzerland's ambassador to Thailand, Pedro Swalin, stressed the importance of responsible consumption and sustainable tourism practices. Recognizing the significant economic contribution of tourism to Thailand, I'm uh, truly inspired by the emphasis on uh, sustainability in uh, Thailand's tourism sector. You know, it is a crucial and a very important step t- um, towards preserving the country's natural beauty and cultural heritage for future generations. And by adopting responsible practices, Thailand can um, ensure that tourism continues to be. A positive force for both the environment and the economy. And for our final story today, Thailand is now taking a strong stance against corruption, uh, declaring its national agenda at the 33rd session of the Commission on Crime Prevention and Criminal Justice in uh, Vienna, Austria. The National Anti-Corruption Commission, or NACC, is leading the charge. Working tirelessly to combat corruption at all levels of our society, and this is a bold move by Thailand, and it really sends a clear message that corruption will not be tolerated in our country. And by actively participating in international forums and collaborating with global partners, the NACC is now demonstrating its commitment to transparency and accountability, and this is essential for building trust in government institutions. And promoting a fair and just society. And that is a wrap for today's episode of Thailand Outlook. We have covered a wide range of topics, from tourism and sustainability to anti-corruption efforts. As always, Thailand continues to be a country of contrasts, balancing tradition with progress and embracing challenges with resilience. Thank you for joining us. I'm Ka Chang with Tajit. See you next time. The Southern Border Provinces Administrative Center, or SBPAC, has committed to pushing forward education in the three southernmost provinces throughout 2024, emphasizing science and mathematics, as well as language skills in religious schools. Among major projects being propelled by the SBPAC is the establishment of Satun University. The proposed institute will be a special format university where studies will be based on student interest and career choices, with further focus on the needs of employers and communities in Satun and its vicinity. 
The center is also working to realize a scholarship program for medical students being presented to Thailand by the government of Cuba. Under the proposed aid program, some 1,000 southern border province students will be funded to study medicine in Cuba before returning to serve community hospitals in the region. Noted by officials of the SBPAC while outlining educational support for this year was the need to intake recommendations on how to produce students who uphold the religious teachings of the South. This was pointed out as important to honoring and maintaining the South's multicultural society where the faith of Islam is core to many residents. One way this is to be done is by supporting private religious schools and having them teach not only religious beliefs but ways of life tied to their creeds. At the same time, the SBPAC indicated that the focus for education this year would be on science and arithmetic as well as languages. The three areas were highlighted as the center analyzed issues holding back students in the South over recent years and found that skills in these disciplines would be conducive to improvement of society in the South. Schools in the region are to be supported to add technology and innovation to enhance studies and students will also be given support to take part in field trips and camps to supplement classroom lessons. On the skill of language, the center states that linguistic abilities will allow southern students to go beyond the region and even the nation, ultimately building bridges for the south, connecting it to the rest of the country and the world. Win a Radio Thailand reward! All you have to do is like FM88 Radio Thailand English Service and Radio Thailand World Service Facebook pages and then like and share the pinned posts. On TikTok, follow at Radio Thailand World. Repost our pinned posts and write a comment on why you love the Radio Thailand World TikTok. Winners will be chosen from the comments. Join in while rewards last.